Well, g'day folks and uh, welcome back to my little uh, home workshop. So today I'm working on a air compressor uh, pump unit and uh, unfortunately old uh, heavy fingers here snapped one of the bolts. Now the bolts are these Whitworth bolts that are uh, horrible invention of Whitworth. Uh, the guy, should, whoever invented this, should have been uh, drowned at birth. But anyway, uh, today I'll bring you over to the pump unit and I'll show you what I'm going to be up to. Now this air compressor has really given me some grief stripping it down. Um, a lot of the bolts, I don't think they've ever been undone in their lifetime. <clears throat> and this one here in particular, this is the one that I broke. Now, I even had trouble getting the flywheel off. And you can see here, I had to actually drill and tap the flywheel so I could put my puller on to extract it. Now, if I had one of those finger-type pullers, I could have got this off, but I don't have one. However, I had an old harmonic balancer puller, and so I used that to extract it. Alright, so let's take the barrel off here and expose the piston. Alright, there it's off there. Now, when I did the mass on this, this is roughly a 50cc unit. Okay, so 50, 50 uh, cubic centimetres of, dis of displacement. Now, here's the broken bolt here. So, in this video today, I'm going to show you an old trick uh, that was taught to me when I was an apprentice many, 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 many years ago uh, where we can actually just put on a nut, MIG weld that and extract that. Now I've got a little bit of the broken bolt sticking out. I could probably put vice grips on that and have a crack at it, but I don't think I'm going to have any luck. Now when I went fishing down inside here, all these holes are actually blind holes. They're not through holes and they're roughly about 15 millimeters deep. All right, now, what I'll do here, like I said, was weld this nut on, and that should pull out. Okay, I'm not worried about the gasket, I'll remake a new gasket. Um, second of all, I'm gonna helicoil these. I'm gonna get rid of these Whitworth bolts. Honestly, I hate them, I can't stand them. Okay, I, luckily I had an old Whitworth spanner uh, to get that these bolts off. All right. Now I'm going to helicoil all these. I'm going to drill them out and helicoil them. And I've got this old recoil set here, which I've probably had for 25 years. I think I bought it probably in the late 90s to uh, do a motorcycle um, crankcase that had some stripped studs in it. These kits are great. They come with everything that you need. They come with a drill bit, a tap. To tap the hut, to tap the, the thread to meet that suits the helicoil, okay, an applicator, and of course a drill bit, okay, and the little thing here to knock off the tab when you're done. Now to do all this today, I'll use my little MIG welding setup that I've got, and uh, I'm going to use the wall down drill press that I'm not going to use the milling machine. I'm going to do it all in a drill press and set the depth height and. Uh, Draw all these out. I'll probably throw some rags in here to protect this. Okay, so now I've got the nut uh, attached to my earth clamp. I'm going to sit it over the top here and then come down with my MIG gun down in here and try and get some weld in there okay now it may be a little bit challenging but we'll give that a whirl and just see how we go right, let's just see if I can get a bit more weld on that now yep and I've got a nice big fat weld in there now I'm just going to let that heat cool off a little bit and uh 
hopefully that will come straight out. Well, here we go. Here's the moment of truth. Did it work? I can feel it. It wants to come out. I'll just take it easy. And I think we've got it. This stuff is on there like bloody cement. Well, I'll scrape this off camera and come back to you when I'm over at the drill press. Okay, I've uh, brought you over to my old wall down drill press and uh, this one's really quite rare. Um, I've never seen another one like this before. It's, it's got a variable speed head on it and I'll bring you in closer to the job. I've got the depth stop set here on the drill press so you can see how far I'll be drilling down today. Alright, we'll start it up. So off camera I tapped the first hole just to get a good start and I'm just using my socket set. Now you've got to be careful but look this is a tapered tap so it should self centre but you just got to be careful with it of course. Tapered tap helps the start as well. Uh, they only give you one tap in the kit unfortunately. They don't give you the three so the tapered intermediate and plug or bottoming tap. So I've just got to start that with my ratchet then I can put my little tap handle on here and just gently sneak up on it and of course I want to make sure I'm vertical in this plane and vertical in that plane as well now cast is really good to tap it's very easy it just cuts like butter occasionally I'll give it a courtesy flush by going in reverse Right, and I feel that's bottomed out and I don't want to force it so I'll back that off I'll blow that hole off blow that hole out off camera and come back to you it's filled up there not sure if you can see down in that hole but it's filled up with junk so we'll go give that a, a blowout a blowout right so I've drilled all the holes and tapped all the holes and remember what I said before these are all blind holes they are not through holes um, I've given them a good blowout and a good clean, but I'll just go over that one more time quickly. Now off camera I've fitted the rear two helicoils here. Now it's quite simple to install. Uh, you will have to set the stop here, okay, with a little uh, Allen key. Oh, actually it's a little flathead um, slot screw in there. So we insert the helicoil on here, or the recoil, whatever you want to call it, depending which brand it is, and just simply screw it in, just like screwing in a bolt. Now if you set the ring correctly, it will bottom out and go tight on you, okay? And you want the helicoil, see how the helicoil is proud at the moment, so it's above the surface? You want it just slightly below the surface. Alright, we're getting there now. And that's tight and you can see here it's just below the surface now there's a tang on the bottom here that you need to break off so you can see the little tang that's the applicator tang and it's designed to snap off now I believe these are stainless steel so you put it in break that off and I'm going to use my pick and try and fish that out and there it is there there's the little tang okay 
and there was one previously on that so that's why there's two there all right so I can now install the other ones So we can check to make sure that they're, they're in there correctly and that's the last one I installed and the cap head bolt goes in no problems at all, bottoms out all the way to the bottom. Beautiful, so this one's finished now. Well uh, thanks for joining in today ladies and gentlemen, uh, I hope you found that uh, interesting or different. We're done, we're finished. I've got all the all the heli coils put in there, okay, or recoils, whatever you want to call them. Uh, the kit that I use is this one here. No, I'm not sponsored. I bought this, you know, like I said on camera, probably 25 years ago, that one. All right, um, and we got that broken bolt out, thank God, okay, and it came out in one piece, I was really happy. So, uh, Mr. Whitworth, if you're watching, uh, I'm gunning for you, mate, look out. The Chihuahua shop dog had to uh, come in scene here. So guys, uh, hope you had a great Christmas and I hope you had a, um, a really good start to the new year. Um, I've been away, I've been up in Queensland visiting my, my family, my pet, my mum and brother. But unfortunately my trip was cut short. And uh, thanks to COVID, thanks COVID, uh, they had a case breakout in Brisbane. Uh, I was on the Gold Coast about an hour away. Uh, Melbourne shut its borders to Brisbane immediately overnight, so the big fella flew home the very next day. Uh, cost me a fortune, uh, cost me $750 for a one-way ticket, but I got the hell out of Dodge. And the problem is, uh, if they shut borders, is trying to get back in, and I'm under a contract obligation at the school I'm at, and I need to teach this year out. So, yeah, that's the price you pay, unfortunately, and the, you know, the weird times that we live in. Alrighty, uh, we'll see you on the next video, eh? And uh, look after yourself and cheers. Thanks for, uh, thanks for supporting me. I really appreciate it. Bye-bye. And uh, the smell coming off that is not pretty, let me tell you. Praise Jesus, hallelujah. It's out. Thank God for that. Well, I stole this old chisel off the old man many, many years ago. So um, Christ knows the age of it. And just so you guys out there stop hanging shit on me, I went and found my ball peen hammer that I had out in the back there. Come in here and I caught him trying to piss on one of my mills. But anyway, <laughs> he's a little bastard. Um...